हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शिल्पा जैक्सन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशंस फ्रॉम द भोपाल स्कूल ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनेट कनेक्शंस देयर आर सेवरल वेज टू कनेक्ट टू द इंटरनेट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरनेट कनेक्शंस आर डायलप कनेक्शन लीज लाइन आई एस डी एन डी एस एल केबल टी वी सैटेलाइट एंड वायरलेस इंटरनेट कनेक्शन लेट एस सी अबाउट दैम वन बाई वन द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ इंटरनेट कनेक्शन इज डायलप कनेक्शन इट यूज अ टेलीफोन लाइन टू कनेक्ट पी सी टू द इंटरनेट इट मेक्स यूज ऑफ मॉडर्म टू सेट अप अ डायलप कनेक्शन This modem acts as an interface between the computer and the telephone line. It uses the same telephone line for the voice services as well as for internet services, which is the biggest drawback of this type of internet connection. Dial-up connection uses two types of protocols: serial line internet protocol and point-to-point -point protocol. The next type of internet connection is leased line. It overcomes the drawback of dial-up connection. It provides a dedicated phone line that connects the computer to internet. That means there will be different line for for voice services and there will be a different line for internet services. It provides reliable and high speed internet. generally it is used by large organizations where they have their own networks and there are large number of users the next type of internet connection is dsl that is digital subscriber line it is a form of broadband connection at as it uses the ordinary telephone line for connectivity it doesn't affects the telephone voice service that means the telephone connection that is voice service and internet service can work simultaneously it is 10 times faster than the dial up connection modem is used here because telephone lines can transmit only digital signal that is why we require modem here the variant of dsl which is commonly used is adsl because it is used to get greater downloading speed now let us see the most important internet connection called broadband connection it provides high speed internet connection through either cable or through telephone companies broadband internet connection uses multiple data channels to send large quantities of information that means if we have to share large quantities of data we can make use of broadband connection the term broadband is the short form of broad bandwidth now what do you mean by the term bandwidth in simple words broadband is a measure of how fast the information can be transmitted in digital world broadband means bits per second broadband internet connection such as dsl and cable internet connections are considered high bandwidth connections next type of internet connection is isdn it stands for integrated service digital network it establishes the connection using phone lines which carry digital signals instead of analog signal it is costly as compared to the dsl it is commonly used by large organizations with the help of which we can connect a computer a fax machine and a telephone line all together through a single telephone line nowadays isdn are replaced by high speed broadband connection the next type of internet connection is cable tv internet connection 
so from the name itself it is clear that it provides internet connectivity through cable tv lines it uses coaxial cable which is capable of transferring data at much higher speed than the common telephone line a cable modem is used to access this service provided by the cable tv operator this modem comprises of two connections first one for internet service and second for cable tv signal that means this cable tv line can be used for watching television as well as for internet access next type of internet connection is satellite internet connection it offers high speed connection to the internet using satellite there are two ways two types in which this internet connection can be achieved first is one way connection and second is two way connection one way connection means we can only download the data but if we want to upload the data we need a dial up access through isps over the telephone line in two way connection we can download and upload the data with the help of satellite we do not require any dial up connection for uploading the satellite internet connection requires two parts to be installed first is the transceiver and second is a modem like device transceiver is placed outdoors in direct line of sight to one of the satellite which is present in the geostationary orbit a modem like device is connected to a dish which is placed indoors and connected to the lan or the computer the next type of internet connection which we mostly used nowadays is wireless internet connection it makes use of radio frequency bands to connect to the internet and offers a very high speed internet connection the wireless internet connection can be of two types first is wifi that is wireless fidelity or bluetooth connection this technology is based on ieee 802.11 standards which allows the electronic device to connect to the internet the term wifi stands for wireless fidelity which means you can connect to the network with the help of radio waves we do not require any cable lines now let us see the process of how it is connected to connect to internet the wireless access point is connected to the wired lan like other devices and then computers with wireless nic can access the wired lan so two terms we have discussed first is wireless access point also known as wap and nic that is network interface card wireless access point is a device that works as a hub or a switch which connects all the devices together nic refers to network interface card which helps to identify a computer on a network so if any device wants to connect to the internet they must have nic that is network interface card installed the next type of internet connectivity is vsat that is very small aperture terminal it is an earth bound station used in satellite communication of data voice and video signals it does not include broadcast television it also consist of two parts a transceiver and a modem like devices which was also there in satellite internet connection the next type of internet connectivity is rf wireless technology where rf stands for radio frequency it use 
the electromagnetic radiation for transferring information between two circuits that have no direct electrical connection the time varying voltages and currents generate electromagnetic energy that propagates in the form of waves we can wirelessly transfer analog and digital data by manipulating and interpreting these waves the benefit of using rf wireless technology is radio frequency is easier to generate because its larger wavelength can penetrate through walls so that's all for this video so see you all in the next video thank you